A significant reduction in used car prices may contribute to pulling inflation below the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%, suggested Tom Lee from Fundstrat. The Mannheim Used Car Price Index, a leading measure of pricing trends, showed a drop of 3.2% in the initial half of June and a 9.4% decrease year-on-year. -year. The Mannheim Price Index reveals a starkly contrasting trend compared to CPI used cars prices, stated Lee. According to Lee, the consistent downturn in used car prices can have a significant impact on future inflation rates, pushing them closer to the Federal Reserve's 2% long-term goal. The Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index, as monitored closely by market watchers, dropped 3.2% in the first half of June, marking a 9.4% decline from the end of June 2022. This significant fall, if it continues at the same rate, can annualize to a staggering 72% decrease. Lee dubbed this a collapse, mentioning that if the trend continues, used car prices may drop an additional 6% by the end of June. The reduction in Mannheim used car prices is a positive factor. It has more profound implications than many perceive, he noted. While the market-based prices for used cars are decreasing, the used car price data that the Labor Department's Consumer Price Index CPI, report uses have shown a 4.4% monthly rise in the last two months. Lee drew attention to the annualized rates of the recent used car pricing data, illustrating a glaring discrepancy, a 72% annualized drop according to the Mannheim Index versus a 50% annualized increase according to the CPI's official used car data. The Mannheim Price Index presents a completely inverse trend to CPI used cars. The implication is that the CPI is arguably delayed and not accurately reflecting the current state of inflation, he added. As the CPI data adjusts to reflect the ongoing decline in used car prices, it is expected to exert a downward force on future CPI reports. The Maycor CPI report showed a 0.15% rise in used car prices, which accounted for 33% of the reported 0.44% inflation rate the previous month. Lee proposed that used car prices should have actually dropped 0.20% rather than increased 0.15%. He explained, if we factor in a minus 0.20% decrease for used cars, the Maycor CPI would stand at 0.09%. That equates to a 1% core inflation rate, even accounting for the ongoing increase in shelter prices. In Lee's view, once the CPI used car pricing data aligns with the prevailing market trend of dropping used car prices, it would help rein in inflation, thereby giving the Fed more justification to hold off on additional interest rate hikes. This potential decrease in inflation and pause in monetary tightening could be seen positively by investors, possibly driving the stock market up. Lee maintains his prediction of an 8% rise in the S&P 500 from its current level, expecting it to reach 4,750 by the year's end.